Good morning, YouTube. Hello, Orchid friends. Today we're talking about these two orchid fowls. Um, these two are the twin fowls that I purchased in one pot from um, a grocery store. They came together, so I decided to use them as an experiment to test out the different media. This is pure Monto clay, and this is hydrocorn. And the reason we're talking about these two today is because about a week ago, the two leaves of this orchid are showing signs of stress, and I suspect that something is going on in the pot. So I'm going to repot this one and take a look at what's inside because usually when fells retire their leaf, it's one at a time. It's never really two at a time. Um, so that's, to me, that's a sign that this orchid is somehow stressed. Now, you may remember the one on the left is in pure manto clay. And the one on the right is pure hydrocorn. And this one is doing pretty well. The two keikis actually are growing really, really good. And then there's another keiki right here. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to separate the keikis. I'm just going to leave them on as an experiment to see how the keikis would do and how the mother plant would do. Um, these are really regular <laughs> um, grocery store fowl that... Um, that's really replaceable, so I'm not going to do too much. I just want to see how it does on its own, like this. And since we're at it, we might as well take a closer look at this one. So this one is grow. This mother plant is growing two keikis. The this one, the the one that you see right here, is pretty well established. It has four leaves now, and you know this root is a keiki root actually has I think three four roots right and then these three roots that you see are also keiki roots it had another one this one is also a keiki root that grew into the media but it has dried um, it's dried up this section but below the media it's still good so I'm just going to leave it as is this root I'm not sure if it's a keiki root so overall I think it's doing okay, and you see how these two roots are growing into the media. And then there, this is where the second keiki is. It's below the leaf, and it doesn't really get a whole lot of sunlight, and probably because the mother plant is giving more nutrient to the other keiki that this one is just not developing as fast. But again, I'm going to leave it as is. Not going to bother it as much. But, you know, overall, I think that bigger keiki is doing pretty good. And the color looks right. Look, looks very similar to the mother plant. And the root, there are at least four roots going for it. And it's growing into the media. So pretty soon... As you know, as long as these two roots are in the media long enough, it'll it'll start getting nutrients for its own, so it doesn't have to always one hundred percent rely rely on the mother plant for for um, nutrients. And with this one, I'm going to repot it. I think I'm going to try Monto clay just to see if it'll um, improve. It has a keiki. And it's also growing two leaves, but obviously this leaf is not bigger than before, and now it's working its new leaf, so it's very clear that it is definitely still trying to adjust. And it makes it makes sense to me that this leaf is smaller because it was being transitioned into semi-hydro, but also what, during the transition, 
um, it lost a couple of roots and you know just a, a, a couple of factors that may have caused that leaf to be so small but the fact that these two leaves are yellowing right now at the same time it tells me that something is going on and I suspect that it's because of the manteau clay not that it's not a good media but um, this is where I may be drawing some conclusion in terms of whether it is good for um, to be used as a pure media for orchid. I suspect that it's too dense because if you just go around and look, right, there is no roots at all. And you can see this one was trying to grow into the media but it stopped, right? Um, so maybe it's because it's too dense, too heavy for the for the roots to to push through, right? Maybe there's not enough air, um, and and because it's so tightly packed that um, it's just got too much moisture trapped inside that the roots inside rotted, which caused these two leaf to yellow, right? So these are all my hypotheses, my suspicions. So I'm going to repot this one and take a look to see um, what happens. Okay. So I unpotted this one, and I was right. There was really no good roots in the media, and the original roots have died off since. Right, it's been about three months, three and a half. Right, and there's no roots growing into the media. I, you know, you can see the three roots that that are growing, those were developing on top of the media, right? So I really think that uh, Manto Clay as a pure 100% media for semi-hydroponic um, setup is not optimal. So it has three p potential reasons. One is it's too heavy. Number two is it's too dense and heavy. Number three is it's too dense, heavy, and has too little air in between. So the roots just did not find its way, or it wasn't being a, it, it, it inside the media it just was not a optimal um, condition for the roots to grow into. And here is, here are the two leaves that this one lost. But, you know, as you can see, it is trying to grow two leaves smaller because it's adjusting and it's being, and it's stressing a little bit. The keiki is doing fine. Right, still getting bigger as we speak. So, let, let me know what you think I should do with this one. Should I go ahead and pot it into semi-hydro or should I, you know, put it back in full water culture? and give this one um, a try with the full water culture method. Let me know what you think, because I haven't really made up my mind, even though I said I may just pot it back into um, hydro corn in the semi-hydroponic setup. But now that I think of it, maybe full water culture? Hopefully you guys can help me decide what to do with this one. All right, until next time, please take good care of yourself. Happy growing. I'll talk to you in my next video. Ciao.